Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel na nagpunta rito para ma-join sa devotional the other night. Shout out and God bless to Lovila May, Rosalila Boca, Salivic Parahelis, Rowena Portillo, Aikim, Rosita, Nisel Kitor, Bibilin Hinerali, Anne Abiar, Samotsarin Blog, Ate Rimes Blog, Heart Punsalan, Connie Store, Yang Stevie, Hibanada Jocelyn, Kuratsa Naomi na nagpasopper chat the other night. God bless you. Little is much when God is in it. Jandre 1, Digi Barry Volcano, Mama Susan YT2, Kim220, and Pamilya Lagan Channel. Guys, sana na-enjoy natin yung day natin together with our family and loved ones, no? mga relatives na nakakapag-spend time tayo ng maganda sa pamilya natin. Okay guys, let's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 8 verses 40 to 48. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, uh, this is about a dead girl and a sick woman, no? Okay, so Luke chapter 8 verse 40 to 48 says, Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were all expecting him. Then a man named Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house, because his only daughter, a girl of about 12, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowd almost crushed him, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all, den when they all denied it, Peter said. Master, the people are crowding and are pressing against you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know. I know that the power has gone out from me. When the woman, seeing that the, she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at the feet in the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how. She had been instantly healed. Then he said to her, Daughter, this is Jesus saying to the woman, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Yes, Lord, that's why we are really asking of your thoughts, your healing thoughts, oh God, when we are sick, because we know you are powerful, because we know there is healing. From you. Lord, we know that you heal us in many ways, like what you did to the blind, instructions given to them, and even to God. To this, O oh God, that this woman uh, aimed just to touch the hem of your clock, O oh God, and that because of woman's faith, he was healed. Lord, we also have that faith as woman has, O oh God, that you may heal us, O oh Lord. Lord, thank you that we believe. You are the doctor among doctor, and prayer is still the best medicine. Prayer is still everything to us, O oh God. It will be the sources of everything we need. May it be physical, mental, emotional, financial, and above all, spiritual. Lead the viewers of oh God to do the same, O oh Lord. To us, O oh Lord God, that our faith may be developed unto you, like that woman who has faith in you, O oh Lord. Bless the viewers, O oh God. Bless them, O oh God, their family, and also, O oh God, the resources. Yes, Lord, thank you that we have committed all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
20. Amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is in Luke 8, 48, and it says, Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. The title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Never Give Up Hope. When my friend received a diagnosis of cancer, the doctor advised her to get her affairs in order. She called me, sobbing, worried about her husband and young children. I shared her urgent prayer request with our mutual friends. We rejoice when a second doctor encouraged her to never give up hope and confirm his team would do all they could do to help. Though some days were harder than others, she focused on God instead of the odds stuck against her. She never gave up. My friend's persevering faith reminds me of the desperate woman in Luke 8, where we, from 12 years of ongoing suffering, disappointment, and isolation, she approached Jesus from behind and stretched her hand toward the hem of his robes. Her immediate healing forward her act of faith, persisting, persistently hoping, believing Jesus was able to do what others could, no matter how impossible her situation seemed. <clears throat> we may experience pain, pain that feels endless, situation that appears hopeless, or waiting that seems unbearable. We may endure moments when the odds against us are stuck with high and wide. We may not experience the healing we long for as we continue trusting Christ, but even then, Jesus invites us to keep reaching for Him, to trust Him and never give up hope, and to believe He is always able, always trustworthy, and always within reach. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> Grabe yung faith, yung faith ng babae guys no na imagine 12 years na siya nagbleed no uh, I cannot imagine very pale na siguro siya no uh, payat na payat skin and bones na siguro siya imagine bleeding ha but yet na sustain siya in that situation and I, and I praise God for her faith na na join siya sa crowd, siyempre di siya mapansin, no? Siguro, while Jesus is uh, walking, no? Slowly, siguro, pag walk ni Lord, nakisabay siya doon, crawling, no? And then, nasa isip niya, if I can only touch the Him, no? Or part of the cloth of, or the robe of Jesus, I would be healed. And totoo naman, guys, no? Miracle really happens. Kasi nga, imagine, nawala yung power ni Lord, or nabawasan yung power ni Lord the moment na nagtas siya sa hem sa robe ni, John, ni God no so yun no so instantly there is healing kaya guys sa akin no i am so confident na uh, yung ano yung every time I, I was in this because i already experienced it twice na nung sinabi ko kagabi na i was in pain then up after that, I just prayed without taking any medicine. I'm just pleading with God. So, probing ko na talaga nga God is the healer. Kaya, when God is my healer, when I asked Him of Him for a healing, then how much for, for the things we are asking from Him? Penances, safety, no? wisdom, knowledge, and understanding sa mga ginagawa natin. So, guys, probing ko na talaga. Same way with this, uh, what happened to the woman. Kaya, let's hold on to God. Let's give our hope to God. This must be move closer to God. Amen. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. How have you recently needed to trust in Jesus despite the challenges you face? Ito nga, wala pa rin akong swildo, but yet... Uh, ano lang, hoping pa rin ako, wala pa rin akong sildo. Baka ano pa ako magkasildo nito. I'm working pero wala pa akong sildo. Uh, February pa sabi ko, Lord, how could I be sustained with this needs I have? No? But praise God, God is uh, uh, using people to provide me. No? Friends from YouTube are providing me. Mga subscribers, no? yung napapalipad. Although hindi ko naman nakukuha actually ano, uh, directly yan. But I praise God for those people na napapadala through Chikas. 
No? God bless you, my friend. God bless you. I'm really praying for you. Sa lahat ng mga napupunta rito, I'm really praying for you. Though you did not, ano, you did not uh, drop your prayer request, but yet, I'm really praying for you. That's why, in a day, nililista ko talaga yung mga pangalan ninyo. Yung mga pumapasok dito. Kasi pinipray ko talaga kayo. Okay, second question. What hope have you found in Him? Yun. Yung, uh, ano lang talaga, communion with God lang talaga. Kasi, proving ko na eh, na siya nagbibigay ng mga needs ko by using other people, direct healing, healing to me when I am not in a good condition. So, yun guys, no? proving ko na talaga, God is a living God. He is not dead. Amen. Okay guys, let's now pray. Jesus, thank you for reminding us that we're never out of your reach or without hope. You're able to do what no one else can do. You are so powerful, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, all power belongs to God. Kaya let's ask God of His power to heal us, to provide for our needs, and even for our safety, and even for wisdom, knowledge, understanding that we need in our daily living. Yes, guys, God bless us all. If you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell, and share all compidi, no? so others will be blessed also. God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich of Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!